Welcome back to Uncreated Crowd. You may be noticing, you know what, things look a little bit different around here. And you would be right. There's a couple reasons for that, because first of all, where I normally film, there's a giant hole in the wall because there was a crack in the foundation. Plus, this product is a larger product that involves this thing back here. This week's product is the Ratchet Legs by, wait for it, Ratchet Legs, originally funded on Kickstarter. When I first saw this, I was like, that is pretty sweet. I gotta try it out. So, here we are. Look at this. Oh no. Well, we're already off to not such a great start. So some of the things I've noticed already is that the paint is chipped in a few areas. Um, on this one as well as the others. So you may be thinking, what is so special about these legs? Well, these legs, as you can see, they're just four legs. There's a reason they're called ratchet legs because we got ratchets with them. I will demonstrate in a moment with this tabletop here, but the way it works is this clamps down on the tabletop, however thick it is, clamps down, and obviously you'd have the tabletop, whatever you're using, whether it be wood, a sheet of steel, and basically you can use anything that you have handy, um, but it has to be at least 0.4 inches thick and it ranges up to 1.8 inches thick. If you're going by metric scale, 10 millimeters to 45 millimeters thick. So I'm gonna start with laying this out and then it shows in the instructions, laying these off to the side. We'll pop open this guy. Holy cow, this is long. We must consult instructions so I don't totally screw it up. So as you can see, there is a little slot here as well as in the bracket. So we're gonna slip this up in here. Come on, you got it, there you go. And then I assume it's essentially just like a ratchet. Dang it. Oh, shucks. <laughs> Let's try doing it this way before we we do that. This is fun. This is lots of fun. So maybe this is more of a two person project than just a one person. And I thought this was gonna be so easy. Okay. I don't know if you could see back there, but right here, it is not laying flush. And that might be because I pulled it too tight. Though, something to note is obviously there's the ratchet parts, but, but something else that I've noticed is that there are holes in here. So you could just drill this right into a tabletop. I'm gonna do this side and then we'll meet you back here. So I got the other legs on. And now let's flip it over and um, see how well it holds up. there we go this is it um a few things that i've noticed is obviously you've got these straps just hanging down here so you gotta figure out something to do to keep those out of the way obviously you probably don't want to cut them so you've got the l brackets here that sit on top of the table not a huge deal but um something to be aware of. one thing i've noticed is that these are not all flush they don't lay flush on top and they don't lay flush on the side either. Whoa, whoa. Definitely a little bit long. Probably looks really weird. It feels like the table is actually bowing. So that there is something to be aware of. So if you didn't see what just happened there, I, as I was flipping the table over, this leg hit the floor and therefore started to bend in and when it, once it got to essentially a tipping point, the L bracket, the L bracket here, just popped out and therefore caused these to fall into each other and fall off completely from the tabletop. But as you can see, when I was, when I was laying on it, sitting on it, when it was standing on all fours, it didn't really have that issue. And as you saw when I was putting it on, when I tightened it, it pulled the legs in and I had to kind of push them back out. Can you see how warped this top bar is? So it's straight, straight, and then it goes way up, and it's the same on both sides. Actually, I bet that probably played part in it collapsing so easily. Maybe if it wasn't bent like that, it wouldn't have, I don't know. So I missed a few things the first time that I created the ending for this video, so 
here I am refilming it, got the new background, pretty stoked about it. So I wasn't able to find the ratchet legs of currently available online for purchase at this point in time. The price I paid on Kickstarter was 130 British pounds, which is approximately 160 US dollars. So would I purchase these again? Unfortunately, I would not. Um, there's a few different things that I was not too fond of with them. Obviously, the first thing being the quality. Um, as you saw, like the, the legs were a little bent up at the top where they're supposed to meet and become flush with the table, as well as the chipping in the paint, as you saw. Quality control, come on. Why, why was that not fixed? I don't know. With that in mind, the ratchet legs were originally designed for like short-term use. Take them with wherever you need to go. Just like a flat surface created table for short-term usage. Founders of the ratchet legs thought of the idea as they were packing up their van to go to a trade show because they're like, we don't have space to put a table in here. What if, what if we just had some legs that we could throw in and then find some wood at the trade show convention center and put a table together. So that's how the idea came about for more short term usage. And with my kids, as you saw, it was not the most stable, uh, especially when bending it over because the legs just caved in. With my kids, that would concern me, having it up long term like that, setting a bunch of weight on it, having my kids trying to pull themselves up on it. They already got scratched up in shipping and bubble wrap. So if I'm just gonna be throwing them in places, don't you think there should be like some sort of carry bag or some sort of solution to take them with you where they're gonna be padded and protected and not keep getting scuffed up? I don't know, ratchet legs. Maybe they didn't quite think that through all the way, but those are some things that I would expect in this type of product, but unfortunately they weren't there. With that said, I, I would not be purchasing these or I would not purchase these again now that I've tried them, tested them, and you know the deal. So, sorry Ratchet Legs, you just, you didn't meet my expectations that I had for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up if you did. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Let me know in the comments down below if you've done any type of projects that would require that or just any type of DIY projects. Let me know, comments down below. Like I just built this wall. Pretty awesome DIY. Let me know. Comments down below. On that note, we will see your beautiful faces next week. See ya!